Welcome back to Barbecue with Greg. Let's put that meat on the grill. Let's get started. So we've been doing some cooks on uh, Louisiana Grills Kamado here. But I was thinking, you know what would be really good is if I had a rotisserie. So I looked at different ways of getting a rotisserie in here and we could spend hundreds of dollars and try to get that hooked up. But I had an idea. Went and I found the cheapest rotisserie I could find. I paid $36 for this rotisserie. So I'm gonna try to modify some things and make this work on the grill. Okay, let's unbox this thing, see what we got. Okay. So we got this. Let's see what we need to do to make it work in here. And probably our motor in here. Yep. Fit it right across here like that. So ideally what I'm thinking is, if I have this lid almost closed like that, you got that small gap here. If I can run this through like that, just above that seal, like that, That'd be probably perfect, but I need to fill this gap so that we still have the seal and work just like a Kamado. So I got a plan for that. Okay, now we got this rotating. Kind of got it crudely set up here, but let's see how the cook goes. So I'm just gonna go get cleaned up because it's extremely hot today. We'll get our chicken ready and uh, put a little fire, get a chicken on there and see how it goes. Okay, we got all cleaned up here. We're ready to get our chicken on. We gotta get our fire going. But uh, before I do that, I wanna make this somewhat fireproof. I wrap the motor end here to the to the shelf.
so I'm going to start with all the coals kind of hanging to the one side and we'll start it off that way. Okay, we got our fire somewhat lit there. Good coals going. So let's put that chicken on the spit and then we'll dress it up. So I'm worried about these flopping around in the feet. I'm just going to tie that up a little bit. So I melted some butter, some salt and pepper, and some barbecue rub some of this into the butter and I'll just brush that on the chicken here let's start that rotating there Okay, let's close our lid. Our bottom damper here, we'll close that. Maybe we'll leave it about two holes there. Our upper damper, we'll open to about one. And you can still see I got a bit of a gap here. So what I got planned, I get some zip ties here. Now, so far I got a good seal here. I don't see any smoke coming out of there. So this is the first time I've done a rotisserie, but I do have the chicken above the heat source, so I'm not sure all those juices are hitting the coals and causing all this smoke. I'm hoping that just burns off, but um, we'll see what happens in the end. The chicken takes about an hour to cook or so, so I can't really leave a probe in it because the thing's spinning. So I'll come back in an hour and check the temperature and see where we're at. Be pretty cool if this works out. Okay, we're going to open this up here, see what we got. Forgot I had the tie wrap on there. Oh, 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 let's take a look at that. Boy, just beautiful. I see the crispiness on those chicken wings. Boy, it looks like it's just coming around nicely here. Okay, we'll do a temperature check on here, see where we're at. Oh boy. Looks like we're there. We're ready to come off. Just show you one thing. You can see the juiciness on this chicken and it's just dripping onto itself. You can smell that chicken skin searing. Boy, just beautiful. Can't wait to taste this. Alrighty. Lift this off of here. Take my ring off. Okay, we'll just let that chicken rest there and then we'll open it up and see what we got. Okay, let's open this up, see what we got. Okay, I'm just experimenting, try to make this rotisserie work on this barbecue. And if you like what I did here, click the like button and uh, comment if you like, show me what you did. and. Uh, yeah, let's open this up.
start off with my favorite part. Look how, look how crispy and juicy that wing is. Crispy on the outside. Mmm. Mmm. Just falling off the bone. Mmm. Oh, those wing tips are delicious. Nice drumstick here. Mmm. Mmm. Just fall off the bone. Wow. Let's cut into this chicken breast. And just cut this in a couple pieces and try. Oh man. Wow, is that delicious. Oh wow. Hmm. Nothing beats a rotisserie to keep a chicken juicy. Hmm. Okay, I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to make that rotisserie work on this grill. I'd say it worked out really well. So I guess we're gonna have to try some more things on this rotisserie. We'll try to modify things, make it better, but um, yeah, great. So I'll be doing a cook every week. And uh, if you wanna subscribe, click that subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time on the next Barbecue with Greg.